so in this next section I'm gonna go over I went over a little bit of fundamentals on the other one this one go more into advanced moves against an opponent who's guarding you face up who um, already knows he can shoot so he's gonna dig into you um, and you're gonna have to beat him one-on-one -on -one. so I'm gonna go over the first thing is a crossover dribble people have been doing it since the you know the uh, Harlem Globetrotter days forgot home curly neo dudes like that who base their game on deception with the ball and a quick change of direction with the handle gotta have two hands you know two you gotta be able to dribble the ball sufficiently with both hands the police moves off in recent times at least for me and Sam Hardaway the killer crossover Isaiah Thomas sickest ball handler I think ever and of course the great Allen Iverson who you know, made a career of crossing fools up, breaking ankles, and then getting his way to the hole, getting a nice mid-range pull-up, which was right within, you know, the 17, 19 foot marker, which was easy for him. So let me go ahead and go over that out here. All right, so when you're setting it up, ideally, you don't want to cross beforehand, unless you're real confident, which I am, but you know, if you're not there yet, you want to just come in with the ball secure on one hand. Like I said, there's a decline here, so this ball's going to jump on me a little bit on. But you want to set it up by setting up your foot. Your foot, that way, if you need to go that way, you go that way. Or if you need to come here, you come on to the side. Um, the main thing to do is, is set the guy up. If you just come over and just cross, and there's no even... Uh, possibility that you might go that way the whole key to the crossover is making a defender have to guess which way you're going because as long as you're a half step ahead of him the blow by is easy all you got to do is give him a little elbow or back off with a form and he's too late even if he's even with you the point is to be for him as a defender to be in front of you that's why they always teach coach teach about staying in front of your man so we set up the crossover by showing the defender you know, that we got more than one option by setting our feet. So whether you come from the right or the left, you set it up to the left. The right. Okay. The reason why it's effective, you know, if you come with the left, you can change your mind, you come out. What you use is, a, is an outside circle trip. You know, I practice that. To perfect that outside circle dribble, you can use that in transition or in a setup or a crossover. You go behind or ahead, circle, turn it back to a crossover. If it don't work, if he bites early, you just do the circle and then go right straight, and he'll already be over there. You know, he's got pile. Same thing with right hand. You know, similar to the normal dribble. But the closer you get to the ground, you got more room to shake. You always want to keep it straight. But when you commit to the move, make it a circle. That way he's not sure if it's going into a crossover or you're bringing it back out. So we come up. Come in, that's beat. Kind of fucked up the dribble. But come over here. See? Or. If you want to see it from the back angle, we come here. Okay. Or from the right side, from the right side, it'd be like this. Okay, so let me check the time again, real quick. Let me see. About half. We only got 10 minutes in YouTube video, so gotta keep it going. All right. So I'm gonna try to simulate these moves on the car, along with the, the spin move, just so you can see how to use your off hand in addition to the footwork and the dribble. Check it. Cross it quick, 
get to the side. What I mean by that is cross it, get to the side, and then lean. If you go up straight, you lose speed and you leave the possibility for him to bump you. If you lean, like a Kobe or an MJ, they always lean, especially because they're so tall, because they're so tall, that they can just still get a bump and keep their progress going. The bump even helps. So. Okay, let's do the, the uh, what you would call it, the uh, spin move. A uh, lot like guys like John Wall nowadays, but utilized real good by my boy Damon Stoudemire, University of Arizona, class of 90, 95. That dude, ridiculous spin move, along with Allen Iverson, Isaiah Thomas, guys like that. Even my boy Mark Price from uh, Georgia Tech who later went on to be a Cavs legend before that whack ass LeBron gave up on that fool. But Mark Price was a stud point guard, a perfect one. This side of John Stockton in my opinion could, could score about 17, 18 a game and had a ridiculous handle. I like Steve Nash. So just set up the sped up the spin move. You go ahead and go like this. You come up. You fake, you're going one way, you push on, and you're turning, okay, or if you set up left, you come down, spin it, okay, that was sloppy, too much movement, but dribbling, check it out, That's it. Just I can only spin one way with it. With the car being there. But the key is to act like it's a crossover. So I can spin. Same thing with the other hand. The other hand. Come in, down, in there. The more broad a dribble you make without carrying, the better. The smoother it'll be. That's about it for that spin move. Um, let me check time real quick. Got about a minute. Um, the other thing with the spin move, like I was just practicing going back and forth, is you want to practice back and forth, not just to control the dribble, but to, um, like if a guy defensively beats you to the spot, because he's a good offensive player too, he's gonna anticipate the move. Um, what you want to do, to be able to cut back, turn it into a jumper, or shorten the dribble and get past them for making that mistake and go following you. The way you do that is you come up, you break it down, you get to the spot, you bring it back, shorten it, or you get there, you bring it back, and then fade away. Okay, so that's what you want to do in that situation. So let me try to do it real quick. Come up. You come in. You come up. Damn, that was a close call. But you got the idea.